Hey y'all, Chantel here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. You're a newbie, you like me, please subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. Whenever I post, you'll be one of the first to be notified once that is turned on. Alrighty, thank you so much. Isn't that amazing? Four years, whenever each year is winding down, I do a trend that need to die in that year. This is the trend that need to die in 20. 22. I had to use a mic for this one because some of you don't hear. Very long story. Very, very long story, but I could try as much as possible to cut them down. This video is based on the superficial things, the external things, because I just want to keep it light. Secondly, I'm not a motivational speaker because if I start to talk about the very deep, internal, important things, then we won't live here. With that said, if you like to hear all the things, all the buzzbows, all the table shaking I'm about to do in this video, thank you for watching. I promise it's going to be fun. The first trend that needs to die in 2022, we need to bid it farewell. We need to write a right P in 2022 is fake app. <laughs> Jesu. Ladies and face app are like this five and six. Whenever I look at these things, I'm like, did you not see that your lashes is on top of your nose? The app will literally take out the, give them like a filter for um, four lashes, right? And put it on the nose. You'll still be on your phone doing, ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you not seeing that your lashes is not where it's supposed to be? Are you still making videos? Please, let us uninstall that app. Or if you're using it, use it with caution in 2023. I don't want to be seeing all those yayetins on my timeline again. All right? The second one for me, let me even on my mic. Those sequin material. That shine, that shine, shine that fabric that, 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 that they have in all colors. Please, it's enough. When I knew that things have, have taken another dimension, is when men say, Isn't it so creepy suit? <laughs> <laughs> now that people are even living it, like people are getting tired of it, that's when all these uh, fast fashions are now bringing it out. She wants to sew all the clothes in this world with that fabric. Please, let's not take it to 2023. I beg you. Thank you. You see this next point? I can't tolerate any other one. But you see this one? I've been saying this for over three years. People don't want to hear. Baby hair has to die in 2022. <laughs> you see those baby hairs? It's as if it's touching your, your, your brows. Let it go in 2022. You're a naturalista. A lot of our edges as Africans, as black people, are nappy. You are drawing it almost to your brow. What's going through your head as you are drawing that thing? We are entering a new year. New year, new you, new baby hair. I'm not against baby hair, right? They are, they are the ones that are very subtle. But this one that you would drag, dra please, let it, let, let it go in 2022. I'm here again to talk about feathers. On you, who dare you? Who bring you? How do you exist? How do you form? Where do you come from? Who are who you? It's like the people that, <laughs> that watched the video last year told me, don't worry, you're about to see the 2.0 of feathers. Because this year, some people put it on their collar, some put it on the ankle, the sleeves was not enough again. Some people put it on the hem of a dress. Big bed, wherever he is or she is, from certain she will be shaking her like, no, 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 this was not my intention when I came out. Toma dustbin, throw it into that dustbin. Throw it into the bottomless pit, that feather, feather trend. But why do people think that that thing is very cute? Please, someone should tell me in the comment section because I try so hard to understand it, but I, I cannot. Just shaka, 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 shaka everywhere. Are you, are you an atilogu dancer? End it this year. The uncle one gives me headache. When I see it, I say, where are you going to? Why do you need all this drama? Eh? Yes, fashion and style is a personal thing, but it's too much now. Eh? Help me. Help us. I know that it's not only me that feels this way. We're a lot. Let's leave it this year. Let it go away with this year. All things have become new in 2023. Okay? Thank you. The fifth trend that needs to die in 2022. Ah, this one. Oh, there will be, there will, if you cast them in number, there will like 100 people. Because there was plenty. We can't even count them in number. So there was plenty. It's not fair. It's not fair to the people that have to look at you. If you, if you, if you are not pitying for yourself, at least pity us that are in the crowd. Pity us that get to talk to you in this event. Black girls wearing colored contacts. You will see a girl as dark as me will be wearing turquoise blue contact lens. What is wrong with you? Are you, are you, are you, <laughs> are you from the coven? What? <laughs> oh, 
what do that girls have in common with green contact blue contact gray contact gray self is even better the darker hue of gray do you, you who know did you know that when you see a dark girl right with um natural blue eyes it's actually a medical condition most of the people that you see with that eye some have like one blue one um regular color there's a there's a, a big youtuber i've not seen her videos like i just see 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 something she has natural blue eyes and it's a condition so i don't know why you people turn it to fashion it's not fine now you will not wear somebody's ashray be not carry blue cut and be charging with lashes we just have a few days to the end of this year please just drop it if you have any color give it to your fair skin friend it's not your color we have browns there's even clear color. You look sexier. I beg you, let's leave it this year. Okay? Thank you. The sixth point exaggerated sleeves have to die in 2022. When you're not Superwoman, when you're not Superman, when you're not Batman, that thing is fancy. It doesn't add or subtract from the fit of the dress on you or the top. Why, why do you need that? We are leaving it in 2022. I beg you. Designers, take notes. How do you even fold that thing and put it inside your wardrobe or your box? That them. Um, big thing where did they keep it let's leave it this year yeah still in the department of clothing corsets visible corset especially has to be left in this year breathe like breathing and out you don't need to wear a dress that when you go for an event you can't sit down it's like the world is against you so what's the sleigh you're giving when you cannot sit down you can't stand or you can't eat you cannot dance you can't do anything you're just snatched there like a mannequin Oh, the back fat is pouring literally you're sweating your makeup is coming off because you, you want to wear corsets because happy year this year leave it wash your hands off that basin of corsets this year you wear clothes as if you want to faint people have traumatized me a lot this year with corsets kukuma this fashion rose around the entire time every time i'm just looking left right and center corset 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 it's just everywhere help me now i'm not important i know help yourself <laughs> and my sister my sister thank you wear a good undergarment to smoothing everything to hold you in and you look more structured that gen z you push come come closer let me tell you a lot of you use this and i'm here to tell you using mental health as a guys for bad attitude for not taking responsibility for your actions stop it so that when somebody cries we don't say you're crying foul you feel like you're not saying the truth it's not always about mental health sometimes you're stressed sometimes you don't even want to just be there you don't want to do that thing it comes with the territory of being a human being read up on what mental health really is this year has just been so much about mental health this mental this is not good for my mental health it's not good but when they tell you something that will be enjoyment but it's still not good for you as a person or your mental health in general that one is good for you we just have we just find opportunity find excuses that fit us or that suits the uh, the um, current situation and tag the other ones as not good for our mental health please this one is very important i'm not even joking about it drop it in 2022 i beg of you there are so many people that are, that are losing their lives every day due to the real definition of mental health crisis mental health issues don't use this as a guise for nonsense I know I said this video was going to be all about the superficial things, but this is very important. This is not even superficial, not even close. I beg you, okay? Thank you. And it's not just for the Gen Z's. Any other person that does that, stop it. It's not healthy. It's not nice at all, all right? God bless you. Men, you people think that you are off the hook. Nah, not in this video. You see that cropped length pants that you people wear these days as suits? A man will wear normal the, the pants will be ankle length. Then the socks will not come. They now wear this Aladdin looking shoe or those big ones that are now raining. I'm not so much into male fashion, but that thing is not flattering. That length of pants is 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 the worst. If you want to dress like a gentleman, let your pant length, the hem of your pants be the normal length. Look good, look well tailored. Everything should be well fitted. Stop that crop crop nonsense. If you want to wear crop trousers, wear crop jeans and maybe sneakers or loafers. You don't wear a, 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 a lace-up dressy shoe with crop length uh, 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 pants and your, your hair socks will be showing. Stop that one in 2032. I saw one in the court one day. Recently, actually. I went to court. He, he's a lawyer. Wore black and white. Now wore that nonsense trousers. I said, so if I have issues now, I will not meet this one to come and fight my case. Your first what people see 
even though you're, you're Aristotle or you're the most uh, brilliant person in the room, if I see you and I cannot relate to what I'm seeing, right? There's no moving forward. Stop. People should stop that in, in this year. This 2022. It's, it's not good. Women, do you like it? Let me know in the comment section because I might be speaking for all of us now. People will not go and betray me and tell them that you like it. Let me know, please. <laughs> Moving um, over to my girls. Wrong size of breast cup. <clears throat> Hold on. Wrong size of breast cup when you saw an outfit. I did a survey with some of my tailor friends and they said that the customers demand for that. So uh, you think that with your breast almost entering your mouth, you are the sexiest in the room. Just your nipple that is hiding. You are not sitting in front of me. What's that? It's called your breast cup for a reason. It's called your bra size for a reason. Why? That trend needs to die in 2022. Just package it very well, tie it up, and throw inside the dustbin. Another one that is it's not superficial, but it's trending. It has been trending recently, and it's just, I'm not okay with it. Using your zodiac sign as a guise for stupidity. Any nonsense it is. Ah! No, I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio, we say our mind. I'm a cancer. Cancer, we don't take no sense. We just say it as it is. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my zodiac sign. It's just as if I should just give you a knock on your head. You are, you are behaving badly. You are there tying innocent zodiac sign to it. If you are doing something bad, take it with your full chest. I, I messed up. I messed up. Don't come and tie any nonsense to your zodiac sign. What, what's that? God that created you and, 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 and said this is bad and this is good. This is a sin. This shouldn't be done. He doesn't know what he was doing. Every time people be looking for means to, to make something look as if it's good. When, when, when you know that, deep down, you know that what you're doing is wrong. In a, in a poor zodiac sign. You know zodiac sign? I will forgive you this year. If I see anybody that does that in 2023, I will tell you face to face that you should just, just stop that nonsense. Stop it. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Over to the men again. You see this style? People started in 2022. 2021-ish, 2022. I don't know how I will start, whether you will understand. This life. Sometimes, in my sleep, I cry. You line your hair, eh? And then they I put one white thing, whether they call it fading, something, put it easy to line the hair. And the funny part is that the supposedly correct guys in the society are jumping on this trend. It oozes local. Leave it. 2022 cut your hair really nicely shave you don't need all those lines to further intensify or amplify the the cut that the baba gave you you're not winning an award for it just look clean and well put together okay i thank you very much ah the second to last point <laughs> mega volume lashes <laughs> that one that when you put you cannot even open your eyes again it's like this it's, it's, the lashes is from from your lateral lash line to your uh, brows. That's like the senior brother of hybrid or the grandfather of hybrid, so to speak. He <laughs> suck you! Does it even prepare your eyes? Is this um, female hair lashes are not cheap to install and they, they, they rate them according to the um, volume. So why do you need to go for that extra one? And it takes so much time. The normal one takes at least one hour to install. Then you go for that one, three, four hours. I know it's none of my business, but it's not fine. You can't go through all that stress and then come out come out and start looking very funny. We have to leave it this year. Did you hear me? Don't say, uh, you're talking to, did, did you hear me? In your name, cool. I just thought I was to come through this screen, I just slap my face. Toy, are you talking to me? But guess what? You cannot. Even if you see me in real life, you cannot. Mm -hmm. You see that bra that you have been wearing since university. The rubber is worn out. The fabric has frayed. If only the bra could speak, it would be crying. It would be telling me, and to tell them, and to say it again. Let her leave me alone. My years of service are over. I need to retire. So the dustbin. Huh? <laughs> Enter twenty twenty three. New person. Oga, that your boxers. When you're washing itself, you know when something is weak. When you wash it, it's already loosening small small you're seeing that it's the cutting this cutting fabric is is begging for mercy leave it those are those are essentials 
that you should have in excess. Some people have them in excess, but that particular one is that they want to be buried with it. They want to leave this world and they will wear them that one. Why? Why did they swear for you? Invest in good bras. Invest in good undergarments, good panties, good good um shapewears. Men, invest in good boxers, good briefs, good good singlets. Not the one that you you when they wash it. The it has it has it has stretched so much that one side is falling and the other side is still up. You know those types. People cannot tell me you don't know it. And I'm talking to you. That trend has to die this year. Wives talk to your husbands. Husbands talk to your wives. Girlfriends talk to your boyfriends. Boyfriends talk to your girlfriend. Brothers talk to your sisters. Brothers talk to talk to talk to, talk to your brothers. Sisters talk to your sisters. Pass this message. Share it. Don't stop sharing. That's not to be a great TikToker. Share it. He who has ears, let him hear. It's not a lot of money. You can start with one or two. The next week you buy another one. And all those people that have that have the tradition of wearing one bra for two weeks, three weeks, one week. It's not healthy. Men that have boxers on, you will wear, you will wear that boxer. You will shower, you will remove it to shower, wear it again, again, and go out. Boxers are like, uh, like panties for women. It has to be changed every day. Every single day. Every single day. Anybody that tell, tells you otherwise is lying to you. I can stay here for, for an hour and keep hammering on this. I'm very passionate about this now. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. At this point, <laughs> I'm not taking it to heart. Please, let's enter 2022. Three, rather, as new people with new sets of undergarments. I beg you. So, yo, we've come to the end of this year's segment of trends that need to die. If you have any other trends that you think we should let go of in 2022, please leave them in the comment section and we'll continue the discussion over there. If you'd like to add to something I already said, please leave them in the comment section as well. If this added value to you in any way, give it a thumbs up, share, leave a comment, subscribe if you are yet to. And yeah, if you watch up to this point, thank you so, 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 so much. I hope these points I gave will be put into practice. I really hope. I really, really hope. For, for my sake and for yours. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Thank you all again. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.